Hello, my name is Grant Kramer, and I am a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. Today, we will be continuing my series on my backyard vineyard. We will be talking about the insects that I've encountered in my first year or season of growing grapes. My Backyard Vineyard, Season 1, Episode 4, Insect Problems That I Encountered in the First Year. So some of the insects that I identified were the blue-green sharpshooter. It's a vector for Pierce's disease, which is caused by the bacteria Xylella fastidiosa, the grape leaf skeletonizer, the bluegrass webworm, which is a lawn pest, and the woodland skipper, which is also a lawn pest. So let's see what these look like. These are my photos. This is a photo of the blue-green sharpshooter. I was quite surprised to find out that it's a vector for Pierce's disease. I knew about the glassy wing sharpshooter, but I had not been aware of the blue-green sharpshooter. The blue-green sharpshooter is common in Southern California where I live. It inhabits riparian areas like the San Luis Rey riverbed area that is only a mile away from my house. Sure enough, having grapes in my backyard, it seemed to find them quite quickly. So I was rather alarmed and I quickly looked up to see what I could do about it. And the only treatment for this pest or for treatment for Pierce's disease is the use of the systemic insecticide called imidacloprid. It can go into the plant and be transported throughout the plant. And when the insect sucks into the phloem, it will suck out also some of this imidacloprid, which is a stomach poison, and it kills the insect. The pesticide is long lived in plants, so basically you give it one treatment in the spring, and it lasts through the season. And in fact, you shouldn't give it any more treatments than the one treatment. You can either spray it on the leaves and it gets into the leaves and moves throughout the plant, or in my case, I added it as a soil drench. So I added it to a container, poured the container around the roots, and then allowed it to be taken up by the root system into the plant and spread throughout the plant. I use an, an app called Seek that allows you to identify different organisms, including insects, and it came up with this identification. I then went and looked it up online and verified that this is indeed the blue-green sharpshooter. Okay, well, this is what I saw when I was walking through my vineyard one day, and I, had, I guess I hadn't been looking for a little while because this is significant devouring of my grape leaves. You can see three leaves that are well chewed up. I originally thought that this was a cutworm doing the damage, but now realize that it is the grape leaf skeletonizer. And you can see why, because it kind of chews off the leaf blade and leaves the main veins sticking out. And it's rather big pest for grapes. This is what it looks like, although in this case, these guys are dead. And I'm not quite certain. There's two of them. The one up in the upper left is enwrapped in some sort of spider web. And the one below is sort of dried up, but clearly matches the description for the skeletonizer and the chewing on the leaf the way it does is, is also very indicative of the skeletonizer. I suspect that the skeletonizer ate enough of this leaf after the vine had been treated with imidacloprid and it probably ingested enough of this imidacloprid to kill it. Alternatively, there are uh, predatory insects that can attack these worms and leave their larva in there that then ingest or kill the worm. I don't know how this one died, but it was dead. And in fact, no further eating of the plant was occurring after those first few pictures. These were probably the only skeletonizer worms around. And once they were dead, there was no longer any eating of my vines. And perhaps the imidacloprid was, was the key uh, treatment to protecting the vines. 
I had a number of other insects of which I didn't know what they were, where I came from in Nevada. There are very, very few insects. There's quite a few more insects within California. This is called the bluegrass webworm. It's really interesting. It looks like the head is at the top, but the head is actually at the bottom. It's quite an unusual looking moth, and the wings are folded up around its body to give it this weird look. It's actually the larvae of this moth that are in the lawn that kills the lawns. They eat the grass. And I had been struggling with my lawn prior to putting in the vineyard. There were a number of brown spots. I thought it was a fungus. It turns out probably it was being eaten by webworms. I don't think that this insect is doing any damage to my vines, and I haven't done anything to spray it. And then this little guy was floating around for a couple of weeks. It was hard to catch on my camera, so it's a little blurry, but it's a woodland skipper, and it also put larvae or eggs into the lawn, and the larvae eat the grass as well. So that's it. I have no more insect problems, and I have no additional insect problems for this year. In the coming season, I'm going to treat these vines with the metacloprid as a preventative measure to protect them against that blue-green sharpshooter, as I know there are going to be more blue-green sharpshooters in the area. Well, that's it, but there are going to be more videos, so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos. And if you like this video and you'd like other people to see this video, then like it because it brings attention to my videos. Have a great day.